Hi Libra, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, first card out is only you. Chasing. Love. Then you have the runner reaching out. Under the deck is cloudy judgment. You have someone who goes towards you, then pulls back. So it's the runner chaser energy. But I think this, yeah, the same person is hot and cold. Let's see how they feel about you. Because this is someone who's probably confusing you. All right, what is the overall energy? We got the justice card, your energy. Eight of cups, page of wands, the tower, and then the page of coins. Okay. This is someone who either lives at a distance, is traveling a lot, is like you just don't know what they're doing next. I see communication here. Maybe it's really flirty, then it's kind of like basic. You're going to find something out with justice being in the middle of the reading. It's kind of what I'm getting, even though it's your energy. It's something about um, finding out the truth or... Okay, let's see. Wow, it's like someone who comes on really strong and then pulls back and then it's like they may say something kind of flirty, but yet it's not really like, okay, let's go to, I think I want to do a different deck about how they feel. I know a deck. Let me go to this one. Let me see this one. How is this person feeling right now? They're actually in despair for some reason and they feel confused and heartbroken. The breakthrough is under the deck. Okay. Only you wanting to chase you, chasing love, and then running away, the runner, and then reaching out. This. So this is someone who runs a lot because they are either afraid of love or they don't know what they want. They could be having some sort of breakthrough with the tower showing up here. What is the wheel? What's coming in for Libra or this person? Wait, okay, hang on. I'm going to see. That's you. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. Someone may declare like their love for you. They're looking back at the past. Maybe a Virgo. We have the Hermit, but it's probably something you haven't heard from recently. Okay, let me keep going. I just saw you, so I wanted to stop there. What is this wheel bringing in for Libra? The Sun. So there's some sort of breakthrough here. The Tower. There's some... Romantic. So this card's been coming up a lot. So it says someone wants to be courted, likes conventional roles, or sees a future together. I just feel like maybe someone is falling in love or feeling romantic. This card's not supposed to be in here. Bonded. Bonded. Instant connection. Yes, a thinking long term where this person is, and in each other's head as well as we have restless, feeling restless. Okay, and thinking alike is under here too. That looks like the same energy. Okay, let's see what they would say, because it says they're gonna reach out. So let me go to this deck. What would this person say to Libra? I wanna make you happy, I miss your smile. I'm ready for commitment. I wanna kiss you. I've been working on myself and I'm not the same as I was before and your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. Okay. Under the deck it says I need to tell you the truth. Now this right here is walking away eight of, eight of cups, but then seven of coins is like reminiscing, looking at the past, the past experiences, what you guys have or had together, even if it was like very minor, you know, just conversations here or there or something like that. So this makes sense. I'm ready for commitment. I want to make you smile. How is this person going to be towards Libra? And how are they going to act? One card only. Two of Wands. You're not quite sure yet, but Ace of Cups is under the deck. So it's kind of an indecisive energy. That's why I'm asking, because this is kind of player-ish energy here, right? Page of Wands, Nine of Wands. And then Page of Coin is kind of, you know, like I always say, communication that's not really exciting. But then you got the Lovers, and the Lovers is pretty spicy. So what is this lover's energy? I read it as sexual. So what is this energy over here? The world. Eight of swords. 
One thing I'm getting is that your person's insecure. They want to know what you're thinking. If you don't feel the same way they do, they don't want to let their guard down and show you with this energy here. However, there is still kind of this issue here of like, like wanting to test the waters like by sleeping together, which I think would be a bad idea. Because you want, well, you may, okay. I assume when I do readings a lot of times that people want commitment. And that may not be true. You may want benefits, friends with benefits. You know, you may not want all that. So the cards tell me, if I was going to read this, that this person may just want something physical for now. Because they're not ready necessary to move forward. However, I don't, I, it feels like they just want to like dip their toe in. Kind of like see where the connection goes. Because I feel like they could want commitment. They're just scared. This could be someone who has a fear of commitment. But obviously they have a fear of commitment. Because they have the chaser runner energy. So that's someone who comes and goes. Uh, what does Libra need to know about this connection? What do you, you need to be aware of? Yeah, wait. I'm not surprised. One more, please. What does Libra need to know? There's passion between the two of you, definitely. Having fun. But you need to balance the friendship of it as well. So it's kind of like dating. I think friendship is kind of like dating, so you need to balance that. You need to have fun together and work on the friendship, the connection, the stability part of it. Okay. Um... What does this person like about you? What do they like about you, Libra? Well, first of all, they're going to be getting in touch, or maybe you've gotten in touch. Maybe you've reached out to them. Maybe they like that you make the first move or the second move. They feel like you've accomplished a lot. This person is definitely not over you. They're saying they're in love with you. They like your body. They like your curves. And they find you very sexy. Yeah, that's definitely yeah showing up here with the lovers and the um, outcome what is holding this person back though why are they i feel like they're holding back yeah seven of wands they're kind of closed off they don't want to open up possibly what does that mean what do they not want to open up about or are they so like they're not sure it could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn i just got three more so this is what you need to be aware of, Libra, with this person. Because it's showing up very clearly. It's kind of like they go in for love with you, but then they definitely pull back. And then they kind of like argue with themselves or they kind of like argue with you. Or like, let's just keep this fun. Let's just keep this, you know, three of cups. I want to keep it fun and flirty and I don't necessarily want like major commitments. So you need to be aware of that because the moon is here, though. They have emotions for you. But it's like somebody that's going to be hard to open up. They're not going to talk about what they're feeling or thinking. It's going to be, um, it's going to, I think it's going to be, I think the weight card, I feel like it's telling you to like go slow. But I also feel like if you sleep with this person too soon, they could like disappear. But that might be something like an individual reading or something would tell you though this is kind of you know general obviously it's for youtube it's for a lot of people it's just giving you the general overlay it could be different but this right here shows me like they are afraid to commit afraid to move forward but then the moon shows me there are emotions five the moon please i need to work on this i need to yeah see how the stability of the four of wands this person may not be able to like regulate or manage their emotions or they don't know what they are. They need to work on this, work on the commitment or work on how they feel for ones. They could also be sad about work in general or sad about something to do with their, you know, other things in their life. Working. If this person lives at a distance, this may be a problem also for someone specific. Because they see them being sad about housing or sad about, you know, work, where they're at. Like, they can't be with you. But they're saying, let's keep it light. Let's keep it as a, you know, friend vibe or friends with benefits vibe. So, but I can tell they like you. They have, can you show me what else they're feeling about Libra? What they feel? Hierophant is in reverse. One more. Ace of Swords. 
the Ace of Coins, and there's that Justice card. It's interesting because there's something here about commitment with Ace of Coins, but yet the hair font came out in reverse. They could be getting out of another situation or giving up on something else, a job. It's like this person wants commitment, but yet they don't clarify hair font in reverse. King of Swords, Five of Cups, Knight of Swords. So oh, this may be you. I also kind of get your person may not want something traditional. Like they may be the type that they want to be in a relationship, but they don't necessarily want to get married. They don't want the paper. Because you have commitment here. I feel like this person misses you. Even though the King of Swords, you know, is your energy, they may be an air sign like you, but again, they may be kind of like, you know, closed off. I just feel like they miss you. They do love you. One more. The Devil, and then we have the Ace of Cups. Wow, your person, if this reading is, okay, if this reading resonates for you and you find yourself confused, I do not blame you. I can totally see what you're dealing with. I mean, this person is passionate, but the, uh, I mean, I don't get cards of them being a total player at all but I get cards here of like maybe yeah having fear of commitment or missing you a lot but like not knowing what they want to do it's like they're it's like they don't want to take that plunge maybe at this moment they don't want to like necessarily live together or something like that but I do see them wanting love here death the four of coins page of coins could we deal with a Capricorn Scorpio. All right. I feel like the more we go into this, the more complicated it gets. What is the advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra? You're manifesting dreams right now by letting go, taking back your power, being a leader, but being playful. So it could be like setting boundaries. I don't honestly feel like you have to let go of this person if you don't want. You just have to be aware of how they're working, their intent, and you know, so it doesn't confuse you. Kind of letting go of the outcome, taking charge of the situation, but having fun. If this this is like your person. Okay, let's go to this deck. Manifest. So you may be in a manifest manifesting energy right now. It does say guardian underneath the deck. Um, you may also want to yeah, take this energy. I think today is the new moon in Gemini. This is six. To like manifest what it is you want. Put it out to the universe. Things like that as well. You could be manifesting this person. Just open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. I'm also wondering for some of you if this reading is hitting and it's maybe not the right person for you and it's time to let go and move on and meet somebody new. You could have new love also because this can be very confusing. I'm kind of going in my head. Should I extend this one? Is it worth it? I might, I might not, but I'm just kind of feeling like you definitely, yeah, I don't know if you're wasting your time with this person or if they really love you or what's going on here. Let's see what else they might want to say to you. See, they're saying the timing just wasn't right for us. But they feel like they can be themselves with you. When they're around you, they can't get enough of you. They love being around you. One more, please. They feel so drawn to you. There's definitely this push-pull energy between the two of you. It's like you guys have a hard time letting each other go. When you're together, it's good. When you're apart, it's unsure of like what the future is. This person... Um, needs to kind of like just, I don't know, I feel like be shaken awake. Okay. Let me go through this stuff in closing. There's a deep knowing. You may know deep in your soul, like your, what this connection, you know, what, what you should do. It's kind of what I'm getting. What you should do with this person, Libra. It's kind of what I'm getting with the deep knowing card. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.